Welcome back to part two of the grab bags. I tried it. I was going to try to squeeze both of them in the first video. It just wasn't possible at all because the first video was like 16 some minutes. So here I'm back again. Same day, same everything. Here's the other bag. There's the list of stuff, but I'm not going to let y'all see that because I want it to be a surprise for y'all. These are pretty heavy. Like They're pretty big. You see how big they are. I got Beetlejuice head, so yeah. Let me go ahead and open this, and hopefully this ain't as long as the other one. I might try to fly through this one a little bit faster. But I do know two things that's in this that I think, yeah, which I spoke with in the other video. I know this one has a collector's item. And instead of a Bo Jackson card, I think it has a Peyton Manning card for those Manning Brother fans out there. Well, that ripped, but it's okay. Let's put that in the floor. Here is the collector's item. Maybe. Yeah, here is the collector's item. Uh, I don't know what this is, so let's go ahead and open it. It's in the box. I have no clue what this is, and I don't think what's on it is what it is. From Chevy. Jam. Well, hopefully, peeps. Ah, that was rough. So let's go ahead and open this. It is a... Okay. It's a car. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. It's a race car. That's pretty neat. I did not expect anything NASCAR or race car wise. I guess, hey. That's pretty cool. I'm not into that personally, but like I said, same thing with baseball. There is fans out there. And I know my papa likes that stuff, so I see I might see if he might want that for his man cave. But other than that, let's try to go ahead and chop into these cards here. I grabbed a handful, and they're all sleeved. Here's a Chicago Cubs sleeved card. Here's also another sleeved card. Diamond Kings Wade Boggs. That's a thick card protector. You better eat your wheats. <laughs> That's pretty cool. A Michael Jordan sticker. The breakfast, the breakfast of champions. That's pretty neat. Here is a Joe Montana card. That's the first I got that when he played for the Niners 49ers I should say Peyton Manning retro card Colts quarterback upper deck that might be worth something not too much since sure here this one's pretty cool it says faster than a speeding bullet more powerful than a lo locomotive able to leak tall buildings in a single bound it's a bird it's a plane it's Michael Jordan that is pretty fire because I'm a huge comic book person and it's legit Michael Jordan as Superman. <laughs> I do love those stickers. I will be keeping those for sure. Here is Lindell Mitchell, runner back for the Colts, a thousand yards. So far, I like this one better because I do like those stickers a lot and I do like the uh, other carded. Oh, here is some more sleeve stuff. This was definitely a better bag for sure. Like, it ain't even comparison. This is signed, I guess. This is Reggie. I guess that's what it says on the back. Signed. I don't know if that's authentic or just how the card's made. Here is also a Super Bow card. Super Bow Nose, not Super Bowl. That's pretty neat. It says Super Bow on the back. Here's George Brett card. It's sleeved. Here's a Dave Justice card. It's also sleeved. Matter of fact, all these are sleeved. Daryl Strawberry sleeved card. 
these stickers ain't sleeved, but I don't see why they would. There's a couple of baseball cards. Well, yeah, you know what I meant. A 1991 race card, NASCAR, sealed pack. That's the first I've seen that. Here's another sleeve card. I, I will say these names, but I would anyway. But it would take up too much time, unfortunately. All-Star Rookie Baseball card. Another sleeve card with a coat on the back. Then a basketball card. See, it's like totally random. Another basketball one. Another one. Another race car pack sealed. A duplicate base uh, basketball card. And then here's some baseball ones. Well, I was going to say baseball and then uh, Steve Young and some people had to slide in there. There's that. That one. That one. I think all three of them. Okay, they didn't. Never mind. Steve Young. Bo Jackson and Kirby Puckett. I probably butchered that, so bear with me. I don't watch baseball, but that's also a sleeved card. Here's another one. That is not Peyton Manning. That is Johnny Unitas. There's another Ozzy Smith. And here's a gym card here. Yeah, I didn't know how to say his last name, so I didn't say it. This looks like it was a cutout on a box or something. I don't know what they was trying to do here. Back-to-back -back MVP, Joe Morgan. It's legit a cutout. I guess they just cut it out to throw it in there. I don't know. Baseball 1992 edition, the collector's choice. Find the bench Morgan looking for Ted Williams best hitters in salt cards. In, in no, I can't speak. Here's that pack. This video is already on seven minutes, and luckily, it's the last thing. And this is a huge bundle of cards. I ain't gonna lie with you. No, nope, I lied. I did lie with you. Oh man, there's a whole bag of cards. Like I said, if y'all want a video on this, let me know. I don't mind to do it for y'all if y'all will watch it. Because that will take some time and it probably will be a long video. I think this is all mainly baseball, but I did see some uh, basketball in it. There is some cool classic cards. It's from the 80s and 90s. I'm sure there's... A bunch of good ones that I'm definitely overlooking because I don't really want to put the time into the baseball ones because I really don't know what I'm looking for and what's valued and what's not valued. And I hate that I don't get to show them all off. But if y'all was in my shoes, would y'all blame me? If so, I will. Like I said, I will do a video for y'all. But here's this big old bag of c combination of cards. Like, I thought it was all uh, baseball, but then... A Seattle player, player had to slide on the bottom there. Y'all can't see him, but he's upside down. It'll be something I have to look into and see if there's anything good. But if y'all want to for me to do it with y'all, that's fine. I'll do that. I don't have a problem. Here's another bag, but first let me... I mean, another big bag of cards. Here's some small ones. These all are baseball. A little small one. Let me see. Baseball. Baseball. Yeah, they, they're all baseball too. If y'all look for a Pacific player, let me know. And I'll go through these for y'all and see if I have one of those players. So I wouldn't care to give it to you. 
as long as it don't cost a leg and don't have to ship it unless you're local. That's fine too. Here's another bag of baseball. Like I said, it's mainly baseball from what I've got anyway. Let's see. See, there's, I know for a fact some of these have to be valued at something. Because I guarantee maybe not necessarily this, this bag or this whole set, but there has to be a complete set somewhere other than the little card pack that I got that said complete set, which I'd have to look through and make sure it's complete. Because it was open, it wasn't sealed. So therefore, you know, let's put that to the side. I am making a mess. I don't know what to do with all these cards. I swear I legit have over a thousand cards, including the bag that I opened for an example to see what I was getting myself into. Because it was already ripped the heck, and if I wasn't careful, it was going to rip out, and I didn't want everything spilling on my floor. Well, there's my cat. <laughs> yeah, it kind of poked its head in. Even though it's still asleep. Here is more baseball cards here. So, uh, y'all give me a random guess how many y'all think's inside this. It's easily has to be. To be an easy price, it's definitely over 200 even though I know it's way more. And I don't even want to include those big bags. I know how much those are. But that bag is empty now. And it does tell you what was in it. It said two Michael Jordan cards, one Peyton Manning, a Diamond King Hall of Famer card, three unopened packs, one Joe Montana, and one 1977 Topps football card, and a bonus star card, and one bonus collector item. I got it mainly for the item because you never know what you're going to get. But unfortunately, it's a race car, and I really don't watch race. But my papa might like it. If not, who knows? Like I said before, it might be a give out. Because honestly, I don't have room for all this stuff. I just bought it to give out for y'all. So if y'all enjoy this, let me know. Like I said, if there's a specific player you're looking for, I will look through the baseball cards for you. I will try to get some ex experts over that knows what they're looking for and try to look through these. Because I know I have some value and I probably made my money back because each bag, mega bag was $20. And if I sold the sets individually, I can make that easily if I find the right buyer. But hopefully y'all enjoyed, because I enjoyed, I'm finally glad I can actually get to it and give it to y'all, because in my last, my last video when I was doing the unboxing on BAM, I brought this up, and it was supposed to be the day after, but I got caught up with work and stuff. But I'm back now, and hopefully I keep y'all updated with some more stuff. I ain't bought any bags or anything that came in. I ain't bought any for a little bit. Try to slow it down a little bit. I don't want to keep on dropping stuff that's not interesting to some people. So if y'all have suggestions, so I can't speak. If y'all have things y'all would like, let me know in the comments. And even if I might not be interested into it, I'll get it for you, for y'all to watch. Even if it costs a little bit, it might just take a little bit longer time. I'm only one man, but I appreciate it. Thank y'all for y'all's time, and hopefully y'all have a blessed day. Bless not, and God bless.